and see what this galaxy class starship can do. I'm gonna circle the ship. Now we'll do formation. Come back to this. That's your red green mm -hmm. formations. Go shut those if you want. Okay. Nav strobes. Even though these are all disc these are all separately connected, they're all in sync. You can go ahead and show the strobes. Got the saucer strobe and the cell strobes. And we even added a strobe underneath the neck. Can you see it? Yep. Should I turn off the windows? No, no, you can see it. Can you see it down there? It's right there. Yeah, look at that. Here, let me turn the windows off. You can see it even better. Okay. Now I can also, from here, um, switch the impulse. So right now the main impulse is on. If we hit it again, we're gonna get the saucer impulse. Now normally they wouldn't all be on unless it was detached, but we hit it again, and you can have just the saucer. If we hit it again, you have nothing. So we'll bring the main since they're actually connected. Now we'll do the warp nacelles, power up the engines. We'll power them down, power them up again. Power down and disengage. And the Bessards take twice as long to come down because I always figured that was gas leaving the engines. We'll bring them up again. Okay. We'll send it to warp. Want to send it to warp? Engage. Engage. You caught it. Well, you want to do it again? Okay, the rest of these are sounds, so we, I added firing phasers. Phase all shields, phases are ready. And the torpedo, do you want to turn the lines off? Uh, we'll do the torpedo when we separate the neck. Uh, red alert. Red alert, battle stations. Uh, bridge ambient. I'm gonna have to get underneath where the speakers are to hear that. And you can you can dim the lights if you want to bring them, you want to dim the lights that'll dim anything on a PWM so it'll dim all the windows it'll dim the uh, engines um, and you can you just keep dimming it until it's so it's not too obnoxiously bright and then you can bring it all the way back up okay same thing with the volume you can bring the volume down audio tracks stop the bridge there's also the engine sound which you hardly are going to hear because it's a really low hum. Um, you can play tracks back and forth. You can just cycle through the tracks. There's the demo track. Make it so. Let's make it so. Red alert. Battle stations. Face all shields. Face you can always stop audio anytime. Do the torpedo. Now what we've done is we just finished the neck. And the neck, um, I'm going to show you something kind of cool, is the neck has a magnetic reed sensor in it. So when you pull the neck apart, it's going to auto-detect its separation and turn the net, the formation lights on. Are you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna pull this apart. And you get a sound. The saucer engines come on automatically. The formation lights on the cobra head come on automatically. And then we have separation of the cobra head. And then you can, we can even pull this up. We've been working on this a lot. And I'll bring it up here, you can take a look. So we got the uh, beacon light underneath and did all the windows. All the way around. I'll bring it around to the other side. So the cobra head is done. And it right down the there. windows. Yep. Oh, yeah, right. Let me get the top window. Got the top windows. Yep. Back windows. Impulse engine. 
And then when you reconnect it, what we'll do is I'll try to slide it back in here and see if I can get it. Um, it's really hard to do without the rest of the ship. But if you slide this back in here, you're gonna get the reconnect sound. And the formation lights go off on, our, on their own. So, um, torpedo, disconnect torpedo. Oh yeah, let's show you the torpedo. Let me do that again. So the torpedo has been blacked out and I put an orange LED in there. So you, got, you ready? Yep. Can we bring it up here? Maybe you can see it a little better. Sure. Ready? Yep. Do it again. Yep. And that's it. That's what we have so far. Um, you want to turn the studio lights on and they can see what it all looks like, the big mess of, that it is? Alexa, turn on the studio. You can see everything so far. And put the neck down on here and just put it off this battery box it was sitting on. But. Do you want to show the holes to the bottom? Oh, yeah. Uh, all that is self-contained and comes out holes we drilled in the bottom. So those will all run into the star drive and run off the Arduino. This Arduino will be in the star drive. I'm going to show this over here. This Arduino will be in the star drive with two Bluetooth receivers and a couple MOSFETs. There's three different MOSFETs here. Um, there's a MOSFET and saucer that I don't know if you showed them there, but has... <laughs> there's an Arduino and the DF player and the speakers are back there, as well as one MOSFET for the windows and the saucer. And then if you want, I'll even do the, I'll even, we can even do the demo sequence. Do it. So